Good morning, folks. Hey, you guys. Isn't that how they used to start the children's show on PBS years ago? Anyway, guess what, guys? Guess what I'm going to do? You're going to be very, you're going to be very expressed or impressed. I am fixing to go Prius camping again. I went in July for about two weeks and I checked the weather starting next. This is September the 19th, 2016, and it is 9.41 a.m. Central Standard Time. And this is Rusty78609, the guy that goes camping in a Prius and the guy that goes camping in RVs every now and then, used to. Been full-time RVing for 23 years. I got now I got that ad out of the way. I can do the rest of the video. Anyway, I've already had my dark chocolate almonds, but I still have some organic black tea left, and I'm in Kingsland, Texas. I just left the U.S. Post Office because I thought to have the post office hold your mail that you had to fill out one of those little yellow forms and put it in your mailbox. Well, you don't have to do that anymore, folks. That's the old way to do it. The new way to do it is to go to USPS.com and do it online. How about that, poo poo ba -doo. So, I will do that from now on. I don't have to fool with these little yellow things. So, yippee! I'm going camping again. It looks like next week there's a cool front coming through the western USA, coming south, and the temperature is going to drop into the 50s for the lows and the 70s for the highs, folks, and that is what I call camping weather. That is nice. So, on Saturday, this Saturday, I got to do a wine tasting event again. And then I got a big blank space for, I don't know how long, I don't, I didn't, I don't see any in uh, October yet. <clears throat> and if they are, I'll just have to skip some of them. Because I'm going camping in my Prius. I'm going as a minimalist. That means I'm going with virtually nothing but the car and me. I was going to get a tail veil. I was going to get a, a tow behind thing called a runaway. I was going to do a lot of things, but I've come to the conclusion that for me, old Rusty, age 71, single with no pets, I got a it. I may take it with me. And, uh, you know, I can just do it so easy. I take a change of clothes and uh, put in my air mattress and my ice chest and my little organizer thing and a few other things, not many. I've got it down to a fine art and it's just so simple. And then if I need to run the air conditioner, uh, I can. Uh, or the heat, I can. I got like a, a motor home here with the best generator in the world. And uh, as far as insects, since I'm not going to use the tail veil or anything else, uh, I'm going to go back to my natural ways, and that is to wear long sleeve, light colored shirts because bugs are not attracted as much to light colors as they are dark colors. And I'll wear long sleeve shirts, and I've got one of those little, uh, what do they call them, the little hairnet things that the cooks wear. I've got some of those that I got from the grocery store. And uh, I've used them before. I just, uh, I don't know, got lazy, I guess. But I'm gonna go back to my, and wear long pants. I'll take a fly swatter. And I'll take my umbrella, and that'll be it. Because I thought about getting a little 10 by 10 screened-in shelter, and you can get them fairly cheaply, $50 or less, depending on what type you choose. But uh, I've decided that I don't want to have to put the damn thing up, put it down, because when I go camping, I might be at a place 
for one night are 10. Have I ever stayed at a campsite for 10 nights? No. Uh, what's the longest I've ever stayed at one place while I'm camping? Good question. Glad you asked it. Uh, probably as long as I can, as far back as I can remember, I would have to say less than a week, probably six or seven days would have been tops. Even though you can stay at most state, or in fact all state parks and national parks, Bureau of Land Management, Corps of Engineers, uh, you can stay at all of them for up to two weeks. And then you have to move uh, off, supposedly. I don't know how they keep up with it. I'm not even sure they do. But because I've never been bothered with it. But some people that really do full time RV <clears throat> in their motor homes and travel trailers and so forth, you know, they go into New Mexico by the annual pass and they do. They stay two weeks at one state park and another one and another one and another one. And that's why all the reserve spots at those state parks are always taken. So, but it doesn't concern me because they don't take the tent sites. And that's what I go camping in are the tent sites. And uh, so having said all that, I will probably leave Monday the, uh, scratch that, Monday the 26th and be gone a few days. Uh, this time I won't have to stay in uh, Motel 6 overnight. I didn't have to last time. I could have gone on to Guadalupe Mountains National Park and, and run the air AC until it, until it got cool at night. But I chose not to and that, that's probably, probably was the wrong choice. It certainly was in my coming back when I almost got mugged in Lubbock, Texas. Went to get some went to get a meal from a Motel 6 in Lubbock, went to pick up my food I'd ordered to go, and this black guy, I barely beat him to the lock. I didn't even see him coming. But I looked up, and there he was on the right side of the car, banging on the window and pulling on the door handle, and I thought, Jesus H. Christ. But I had a pistol in the seat. I pointed it at Mr. Black Man, and he almost turned white, and that was the end of that story but it was real close. But I'm gonna be a little more cautious now that I'm getting a little older and I'm a target, I know it, and particularly when you're traveling, you got out of state plates, so it might as well be a blinking red light. For every panhandler in the world, that's what they look for. Anyway, what else is happening in my life? Uh, so far, so good, health's okay. Uh, I don't know, man. So everything seems to be going all right, knock on wood. But going camping in my Prius is so nice when you when I go the way... I mean, now that I've done it so many times, I've got it down to where, you know, it's easy to get back into the routine pretty quick, you know, rolling in, rolling out of the bed. You know, don't air the air mattress up before you leave. You can air it up a little bit, but just a little bit because by the time I get to Guadalupe Mountains National Park, the molecules will have expanded to the point that air mattress will be as hard as a rock. And uh, as far as food, uh, it's not a problem. I know I don't, I do not cook when I'm camping or traveling. And I, I, a lot of people ask, well, hey, you know, I can't believe you. You know, what do you do for your coffee? I don't drink coffee. You know, that's one reason. And as far as a preparing a breakfast. I don't prepare a breakfast at home. I, I do a smoothie on the road since I don't have a blender. All I do is just put all the ingredients in my mug with some yogurt and stuff and stir it around, eat it with a spoon. And the only difference is it isn't all ground up. You got to chew it. That's not a big problem. That takes care of breakfast. Then for a snack, I have my dark chocolate almonds and some tea. <clears throat> and then at lunchtime, Depends on, I usually, I, sometimes I, when I'm traveling, I usually just try to eat two meals a day. I'll have breakfast, you know, my fruit, nuts, and stuff. And then uh, I'll have a, maybe a, later on, I'll have a banana or an apple if I get a little hunger pain in the afternoon. Uh, maybe a carrot or something. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people like, God damn, man, that's not enough to keep a bird alive. 
Trust me, it is. At my age, your metabolism has changed. You're not as active as you used to be. You're not burning the calories. So, why overfill the tank? Uh, anyway, it's uh, Monday morning, and uh, I don't have to work. I'm going to Ace Hardware, I think, or so, a True Value, I guess is what they call it. Maybe it is. It's in Marble Falls, Texas. And uh, I'm looking for some magnets. And uh, the reason I'm, I'm looking for some magnets is my window coverings, my mosquito screens that I put on my Prius. I've got two. Uh, I bought some that were supposed to fit over the front and rear windows, but the front windows, they don't fit. So I'll use them. I've got rear window covers that work. And uh, fortunately, they refunded my money and didn't even ask me to return the product. So uh, I've got... I've got those rear window covers that just slip over and they do work. They fit fine for the rear windows. But for the front windows, I'm going to try to use, I found that I had tried to use magnets before, but I made one mistake. The magnets I got did not have enough pull strength or they weren't magnetic enough to uh, hold the uh, screen. Uh, they were, you know, they just kind of fell off basically, but uh, I checked and I found that you can get magnets that are a little stronger. You got to pay a little more, but you know, that's why I got the cheapies the first time. You know me, Mr. Mr. Tight Ass here, I'm not going to spend an extra dime. But anyway, I'm going to go, I'm going to go spend a few bucks today and uh, get me some magnets and that way I don't have to use the uh, painter's tape to hold the, uh, window screens on it'll be easier and quicker without the painter's tape look much nicer not that i give a damn about what it looks like but uh, i just don't want to have to fool with the painter's tape so and uh, other than that uh, business as usual in the prius camp and it's how long do i plan to be gone i really have no plan i'll just go till i get ready to come home i mean that could be uh, three days, uh, or it could be three weeks, or who knows? I mean, I have no uh, no schedule. That makes it nice. I mean, I have no schedule, and that way, I and I keep one of the things I have to do, and I guess it's just natural in most humans, is we tend to get in a rush or a hurry for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me, but I doubt it. But uh, I always keep reminding myself, you know, slow down. You don't need to be in a hurry. You know, you don't need to drive 80 miles an hour on Interstate 10, even though the speed limit is 80. Uh, no, I'm going to back off and I'll drive 65 on Interstate 10. And when I get off Interstate 10 on the back roads going to Guadalupe Mountains, I'll drop down to about 55 and chill out. And I'll continue that pattern all the way through. Now, where do I plan to go? Uh, Guadalupe Mountains appears to be my first stop. And then from there, uh, may go, there's a petroglyph site, I believe it's a petroglyph, maybe pictographs, I can't remember, just north of Alamogordo, and they have a little campground there. Very rarely does anybody ever go there. And, and they'll own back further on that same road that goes by the pictographs or whatever they call it. Uh, there's, a, there's a Bureau of Land Management uh, campground up in the Lincoln National Forest. It's pretty private, a little hard to get to, but it's pretty nice. I may, I may check it out, I'm not sure. And then from there, I'm gonna go on around, there's a Bureau of Land Management, it's called, uh, I wanna say Valley of the Fires, or something like that. It's a big lava flow that occurred in that uh, area of New Mexico millions of years ago or whatever it was and it's not far from the atomic bomb test site in New Mexico that, that was done in 1946 which is still radioactive today uh, you can go to the site but uh, they only have uh, certain days that you can go there it's just a big huge crater in the ground I've been uh, never been up to it but I've been close enough to see the the uh, crater and my god you know I mean for mankind to create that and then expand on it you know that was the beginning you know you can imagine what we have now uh, you know that is just a, you know that just shows you how insane we really are 
and we'll end up killing ourselves. What does that have to do with Prius camping? Not a damn thing. So, that's the plan. Go there, maybe, and then I may slip over to uh, Daddle Wells, or there's a place between there called uh, Elephant Butte State Park. Might go there. Uh, not much there. A little, they call it a lake, more like a stock tank. Uh, but may go there. Who knows? But anyway, I'll just make a little loop. May go over towards uh, Gila Cliff Dwelling, since I volunteered there once. I know that area. I volunteered as an interpretive ranger there about three or four years ago. I was there for a couple of months. And uh, it's okay, it's a nice, it's, it's up in the elevations about 6,500 feet. And it's out in the middle of nowhere, so they get very few visitors. Their campgrounds are basically empty all the time. But I may go there for a few days, I'm not sure. But having said all that, folks, this is Rusty, Mr. Prius Camper. I've got, I'm going to call this thing my Prius Motorhome, okay? My Prius Motorhome, you yeah. know? It really is. I mean, i got to tell you, you know, you can't beat it, man. You can run the AC all night for a buck fifty. I'm telling you, you know, that's amazing. That's all night. That's nine hours. I'm telling you. The engine will cut on for a couple of minutes, maybe twice an hour, you know, depending on what the outside temperature is. And, uh, you know, you can't beat it, man. You got you. And for me, since I get 50% off at uh, National Parks, State, not State Parks, National Parks, BLMs, Corps of Engineers, and all that stuff, since I'm a senior citizen, uh, hell, man, I, I go camping at Guadalupe Mountains. It costs me 350 a night. And if I, you know, add it in the fuel, if I have to run the air conditioner, let's just say 550 a night is key. One, kind of hard to beat that, at least from my point of view it is. I'm thinking it is. Anyway, I'm going to end this video sometime here, folks. I really am. I'm getting off this road because I saw a detour up there, and I'm thinking I can get to this. I'm always into shortcuts, folks, and I promise you, my boys, or my... My youngest boy, I promise you, whenever I say I'm going to take a shortcut, he just cringes. And the reason is, some of my shortcuts turn into be long cuts. I mean, I've taken some. I took one coming back from, oh, we'd gone out to, I'd gone out to the, um, I, I, I interviewed for a job on the Hopi Indian Reservation many years ago. And uh, coming back from out there, I cut, I took a shortcut through, I want to say the, it's either the White Horse Mountains or something like that. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a shortcut. That's all I need to say about that. And here I am at True Value, and I can end this video finally. So, having said all that, folks, this is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA. And uh, y'all have a good day. I'll have a good day. Thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye.